Pastor Kenny, welcome to Tunisia, welcome to Radio Mosaic FM and also Hamamets. How did you find Tunisia so far? Actually, I had a rough night coming here. <laughs> On the plane, I got in around 12 o'clock. But I got myself together. I didn't get a chance to see much. But uh, the people had a great time. We had a great time. So that's all that counts. That was pretty much the, all that counted. But, um, well, you've been playing like iconic sets of jazz, of sax, pretty much everywhere in the world. And since a lot of time, you've been doing this pretty much your whole life. Uh, so uh, what has been your driving force throughout all of this, throughout your musical career? You know, my drive for me with music is this. Um, he allowed another day. Uh, the creator gets a chance to bless me. I get up and try it again. Yeah. So um, you, you have collaborated with iconic figures in the music industry. Um, can you share with us some memorable memories uh, from your time working with Miles Davis? I knew that was coming. <laughs> well, you know, Miles, I, that was my longest tenure. I was with Miles for five and a half years. And uh, I, have, I learned a lot of things, a lot of lessons. Um, I, you know, it's not, not, no anecdotes to really share with you, but I think, you know, the thing with Miles is that I was just happy to be there five and a half years. And he taught the language of the master, you know, so every day I was learning the language. So that was a great, the greatest part for me. Yeah. So um, jazz has pretty much a rich history, but also a social responsibility for the people. Uh, so do you feel like as an artist, do you feel that res responsibility to address some of, the, some of the issues that you have in the industry, but also some of the issues that uh, every person, every single person that relates to your music has? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I think, um, you know, the, the issues some issues I deal with because they uh, uh, touch me or they speak to me more. But uh, I don't feel like I'm a politician or anything like that. I just kind of feel like uh, through my music I express myself and hopefully people can hear it through the music. So uh, you've toured pretty much all around the world. Um, so how did you adapt your, your, your show here tonight to, uh, to the Tunisian culture, to the Tunisian heritage, but also the African uh, vibe? You're here in Hamamet, you're here in Tunisia, North Africa. Uh, how, did you, how did you manage to do that here on set? Well, I didn't try to do anything differently. I tried to give the people here in Tunisia the same opportunity that the rest of the world has been hearing, the same music, and see how they respond. And they will respond in the same way the other people would respond. So to me, it's just, it's, uh, music is a language that speaks to everyone. And I try to come to a country. I mean, sometimes I hear people say, well, they don't get up, they don't dance, they don't do this. And then all of a sudden, they're like, well, they're dancing. It's like, well, it's just the music. So uh, one last word to the jazz community here in Tunisia. What would you like to say? What would you like to say to the uh, to your fans here in Tunisia that were here today? Thanks for coming. Hope to see you soon. I want to come back soon and hang out a little longer.